I have the pattern leave-in conditioner because, um, well, it came with a box, but also like I tried it out for this twist out. I only use this and oil. And y'all, do y'all see this? I know y'all see this. I mean, the front of my hair is a little bit looser. So of course, you know, you see all this going on, but at least the ends of it, it's like, oh yes, the ends, okay? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> But yeah, I was really excited. I was like, okay, let's let's see what this working with. And it's working with a lot. It, it got the job done. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm gonna stop now. But yeah, so if you guys want to see, check out how I use these products all together to get this awesome hairstyle. Definitely stay tuned <laughs> and check it out. This is so hard to do. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Princess Ready here and I hope you're doing well. Uh, for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I got this <laughs> cute little twist out. It was super quick, super easy to do, and I was using Pattern Beauty products. Let me show you guys what they look like real quick so you guys know what I'm using. So we have the Pattern Beauty Leave-In Conditioner as well as some sweet almond oil that I got from Amazon. And I'm also going to be using the Shine and Jam for my edges and the roots of my hair. I'm going to use the Pattern Beauty brush as well as the hair clip. So guys, right now I'm just gonna take my hair down. As you can see, it's been going through a lot. It's still a little wet. This is like super late in the evening, but I'm just like, let me get this hair done. Let me see if this product actually works and give you guys a review because I was about to do my protective style soon and I just needed to get this video out. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna part my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the leave-in conditioner and just put that saturated all over my hair. Then I'm gonna take the sweet almond oil afterwards and saturate my hair with it as well. Then you guys are gonna see me go in with the shining jam and just grabbing all over my roots, just making sure that I apply it all over my roots. And then I'm gonna detangle my hair, like fully detangle it before I start braiding and twisting my hair. So for this braid and twist, I call them brists because it's a combination of both. I'm gonna go ahead and separate my hair into three different sections and then start braiding. Um, definitely make sure you take your time. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you wanna make sure you have at least even um, sections so that after you finish braiding down about an inch and a half, you're gonna go ahead and take the braid part in the middle. I hope that makes sense. You guys are going to see what I'm doing, but just the part in the middle, you're going to separate that into two and then you're going to put it on the side on the left and the one on the right. And then you'll just have two and you can just go ahead and twist it. 
I don't know if that helped you, but just go ahead and look. It'll make a lot more sense. And don't forget to detangle some more, like keep detangling throughout. You want this style to be as smooth as possible. Perfect.
Perfect. Perfect. Anyways, I'm gonna get this oil, same oil that I used when I was styling my hair, and I'm just gonna put a decent amount on my fingers. You wanna make sure that your fingertips are well protected, saturated when you go in. This hair of yours, okay? I'm just gonna get the ends for sure. See the men. Fingers are still pretty oily, so we're just gonna go in 
and then separate these wrists. I call them wrists because they're braids and twists. Okay. And the braids actually just give it a bit of like stretch at the root. At least for me. Ooh, my roots are still wet. But the ends are dry, so it's okay. It's okay. It'll be fine. So we're just gonna unravel. I'm just gonna cut you guys some glue here. And then once the twist is unraveled, we're gonna go in and find where the braid is. And I'm just gonna undo the braid. And do the braid. Just keep going. My hair is still wet. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh well, it gonna dry. It's okay. It's gonna dry. We got a lot to do today. Nobody got time. We don't have the time. It's all right. It's gonna dry. All right. You can see that end is dry. So it's all right. It's okay. Big fluffy twist. That's what we're going for, anyway. So. It shall survive. So for this other side, I need to put more oil on my fingertips, but not as much as I did in the beginning, just because my fingertips are a little oily, so this one's like getting a little dry in the middle. I know it doesn't look like that on camera, but it is. I can feel it. I can feel it. So, just need to have some of my fingertips to see the difference. Ooh, shiny, shiny. All right. Got some on my earring, but it's okay. Um, this is the olive oil that you can use. Is it olive oil? No, it's almond oil. Yeah, and you can basically use it for everything. I just actually rubbed some on my skin. It's good. It's real good. Go good. separate this hair too too much just because I'm planning to wear it um yeah for the week so obviously when it stops looking you know defined and stuff I'll just do something different with it but this will be working with right just gonna shake it out um not sure what I'm gonna do with the front part but this is what we're working with. I don't think it's giving me much justice right now. Let me turn my camera. i turn myself towards the camera. Alright, let me stop. Let me stop before I separate the whole thing. Well, it's not the best type of definition, but again, parts of my hair, it's still like wet so like considering all of that this is actually a pretty good definition if you ask me look at that wow wow look at that the bag is not as defined which is okay it's fine certain parts of the bag 
or maybe it's just a section. Not extra wide. But it's okay. So I don't want to pick it out with an actual pick because I don't even think I have a pick. You just go in with your fingers. <gasps> Boom. 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 Good thing when you have nails. You love nails. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Just go in. You fluff it out exactly how you want it. And then I like to shape my hair, so I'll be pulling, pulling, pulling. I'm like, hmm, are you, you know, curved at this angle? You see how it looks now? Great. And then I go and I keep looking and I'm like, hmm, you seem a little bit longer than the other sections. So I'm pulling now, I'm gonna check you here. This angle, you're still kind of okay. Keep moving it. You're a little empty over here. So we're gonna move you. And then I'm going to go like this way, I'm going to separate it. I'm going to go like this. Okay, that's fine. It's not going to look perfect. And then the same thing here. So you're just going to really like shape it. You'll see that difference. Like that. And then you turn a little bit more. And then you turn a little bit more. And then I do my face right here. Big hair don't care. Ha ha. Okay. And then obviously, like this section right here, I would separate just because. Oh my god. We gotta like fill in those gaps and whatnot. And then, this is what we work on basically. Why are you so good? But yeah, here's my hair. I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. I might do a little photo shoot. Perfect. And that's it. <laughs> But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys uh, liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Be blessed. Spread love and stay beautiful inside and out. Bye, guys. <laughs>